Hello everybody. It's her here from Enterprise DNA. In our last video, we saw the different types of scenarios in RACX function. In today's video, we will see how to calculate the ranking in a tabular form. In the past, we have showcased about how to calculate the ranking over a singular piece of data inside a table visual. But today, we will see how to calculate the ranking when fields from different dimension tables are brought together inside the table visual. So let's head over to the Power BI and see how it is done. In this scenario, we have created a table visual and have brought customer names field from the customers table and product names field from the products table and want to analyze at a combined level to find out which are our best performing customers in combination with the product names based on total sales. So referencing the discussion from our previous video, the first thing which we will do when we start writing the measure for ranking is to reference the field names along with the table names inside the rank x function. Secondly, since we know that product name is being sorted by the product index field, we will also have to include that field as well while evaluating the ranking. And finally, as we can observe, since two fields from different tables are coming together inside one table visual, it's a kind of cross join. And therefore, we will implement the cross join function inside our rank x function while referencing the table names. So let's write our measure to evaluate the ranking at a combined level of customers as well as products. We will simply name our measure as ranking. Rank x function cross join. And now we will reference our field names one by one customer names, product names, and product index field. Close the bracket. Call out our total sales measure. And let's bring this ranking measure inside our table visual to analyze the results. So now we observe that we are getting the correct results. But since we are using the cross join function, it creates a combination of all the rows between the customers and the products and thereby evaluating the ranking against those rows as well where we don't have the figures for the total sales. And to avoid this kind of scenario, we will have to insert an if condition where we will calculate the ranking only where we have total sales. Otherwise, it should be blank. Now, as we can see that it's calculating the total sales only where we have sales figure and rest of the combination of rows where we don't have sales are ignored. Since we also want to exclude the ranking at a total level, we will write an is in scope function and ignore the results at a grand total level. So as we can see that ranking at a grand total level is ignored as well. Finally, as we observe that there are several rows where ranking is tied. In case we want to break ties, then our enterprise DNA experts Brian Julius 
and Antrik Sharma has created videos which showcases how to break ties. Link of those videos is provided in the description below. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.